There is a movement afoot to expand gambling in Illinois. My opponent recently voted to approve additional gambling expansion in Illinois. This is an example of where my opponent and I differ. I oppose additional gambling expansion. Many lawmakers view gambling as a quick way for the state to receive additional financial revenue for a debt-ridden state. I oppose gambling expansion for a lot of reasons. Numerous studies have shown that gambling disproportionately preys upon individuals who can least afford it. In my mind, it's analogous to a state making money off of cigarette sales to those who are addicted to cigarettes. Republicans have traditionally viewed gambling expansion with disfavor. I'll not debate whether gambling is good or bad for Illinois. That's water under the bridge a long time ago. It's here in the state now and it's likely to stay. If gambling is really good, I ask why not open it up, but I don't think it is that good. I think there are many drawbacks to gambling. I am personally aware of individuals who've lost their life savings after becoming addicted to gambling. The media commonly reports about these tragedy, tragedies. As recently as January 13, 2012, the AP reported a story about a federal prison guard in southern Illinois who was caught smuggling cigarettes into prison to pay for a gambling addiction. The guard was sentenced to two and a half years in federal lockup. Families have been destroyed and hard-earned money has been gambled away due to a gambling addiction. I strongly oppose gambling expansion in Illinois at this time. 